name is Bob Falstrom. I was the uh, assistant sports editor at that time on the Herald, the morning paper, and uh, in 1963, November 22nd, I was at home. I got a call from somebody at the office here, I don't remember who, and uh, said, you better come down because uh, President Kennedy has just been shot, which was a very uh, unbelievable situation. It was similar to the, to the World Trade Center terrorist bombing. Uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, in the manner of being unbelievable. Uh, nobody could expect that uh, President Kennedy would be, would be assassinated at that time. And uh, of course the review, the afternoon paper, went to press about uh, 1.30, something like that. They got enough stuff so they had it on the front page with a headline saying the president has been shot and killed and they had a short story on the front page they had a picture of kennedy at the uh, breakfast he had at fort worth before he left for dallas uh, where he made a speech and so on and they had maybe a seven, eight inch story, Associated Press story on it. But uh, it went to press then, and then immediately they started getting more news. This was the newsroom in those days in the old building at North Main and, and North Streets was on the second floor. and. Uh, the Herald and the Review had separate staffs. Herald in the morning paper, the Herald the Review in the afternoon, separate staffs, staffs and uh, shared the same desks. In sports, we had two desks. We had seven people. In sports, we had two desks. Wow. It took me 20 years to get my own desk. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> it was pretty tight quarters up there. And the reporters all sat around a, a, a circular table with the managing editor in the middle. Not like now where everybody had a, their own desk. And of course we had the uh, wire machines were all uh, clacking, typewriters clacking, uh, lots of noise. Nowadays, this place is like a uh, tomb, most of the time, anyway. But uh, it was uh, quite a scene, of course. The AP wire uh, kept turning out stories on Kennedy, so they remade the front page of the review and the second page and they put out an extra at 5 p.m., which had uh, a lot more details, of course. They sold it only for on the street and in newsstands, not uh, to the regular customers, and it cost seven cents. Extras are few and far between at that time, and I think that may have been one of the last extras that was put out by the Herald Review, and of course everybody's scur scurrying around. We have hot types, we don't have any computers, of course. We have any TV, well we had TV, but uh, no computers, we got the hot metal type, and uh, everybody is scurrying around like crazy, trying to get this thing fixed up. So everybody in the newsroom, same, same as me, you couldn't believe it. Hardened reporters. Uh, John Harpster was an investigative reporter at that time for the Herald. He, you know, they, they couldn't believe it. Then, of course, on Saturday and Sunday, 
everything was Kennedy. Radio, TV, newspapers, everything was Kennedy. In those days, I wrote a column five days a week. And my Saturday column said, let's call off all the sports events this weekend. If a member of your family dies, you don't go to a basketball game that night. And let's call off all the stuff. Well, Illinois was to play Michigan State that Saturday for the Big Ten Championship. They did call that off and they rescheduled it for Thanksgiving Day, which was the next week. Uh, some colleges uh, called off their games. Uh, pro basketball and pro hockey called off their games that night, Friday night, and some on Saturday. Uh, but the National Football League would not Change. They played all our games on Sunday. The Bears tied the Steelers. But uh, the American Football League was in that time was a competitor of the NFL, and they called off all our games on Sunday, which I thought was the thing to do. Then, of course, on Sunday morning. Uh, Family was all there, we were watching TV, and they bring out Oswald from the jail there down in the basement, and Ruby rushes up and shoots him, and that was covered, that was media on TV, you saw the whole thing, you saw Ruby rush up and shoot Oswald, and the whole, the whole weekend, all you could hear of music on radio was uh, funeral type, dirge type music. No other programs. People could not believe it. They're dumbfounded. And uh, in Decatur, we had stories of, of people where they were at the time when they heard about the murder. And everybody, uh, you know, it was, it was just a tragedy. It was like losing one of your family members, actually. And of course, the paper, the three days, the funeral, everything was Kennedy in the paper. And uh, it was a chaotic time for newspapers. <laughs>